Hi, my name's Kyle. I'm with JJ Kane. Um, one of the main questions we get is, what should I look for when purchasing a truck at auction? So we wanted to take a minute to address these questions and give you an idea of what we would suggest you look for when purchasing a used bucket truck at one of our auctions. Let's run down a list of a few things that we think are important when evaluating a piece of equipment. First thing, write down the VIN number. Inspect the interior of the truck. Don't let dirt be a distraction. It can be detailed later. Check the mileage on the odometer. Then check the heat in the AC. Check the dashboard buttons. Check the brake pedals. Check knobs and seats for wear and damage. The brake pedals and seat wear will tell you a lot about the life of the vehicle. No wear and tear doesn't mean that the truck has not been used. It could mean that it's been replaced to be spruced up for auction. Let's inspect the outside of the vehicle for any obvious damage or repairs. Walk around the vehicle several times. You will notice different things each time you walk around it. Be sure you give it a thorough inspection. Check the tires for inside or outside tread wear. Irregular wear means the vehicle is out of alignment or indicates other problems. Many times, if you knock on the fender, you'll hear different sounds, indicating that there could have been body work done. Be sure to check the engine for leaks and the engine belts for wear. Check the antifreeze reservoir and make sure it's clean and the antifreeze looks fresh. Do not open the coolant cap. Look underneath the vehicle for any engine oil or transmission fluid leaks. Check the engine oil to be sure it has a light brown color, not black. Black means it hasn't been changed in a while. After you've inspected the outside of the truck, get in the truck and start the engine. Be aware of any dashboard warning lights. If any of the dashboard warning lights stay illuminated, find one of our mechanics. We're happy to help. Could be something simple. Look for smoke coming from the engine exhaust. Blue smoke could indicate a problem. Revving the engine is not necessary. Put your foot on the brake and place the vehicle into drive and then into reverse to see how the transmission slips into gear. Make sure there are no clunking noises when the vehicle goes into gear. Next, engage the PTO and then proceed to the unit's lower controls. Check the hydraulic hoses on the pedestal and boom for cracks and leaks. Check the hoses on the pedestal. Stains may indicate hydraulic leaks. Inspect the fiberglass on the boom for cracks and damage. Examine the bucket for cracks and damage. Check all boom functions from lower controls only. Remember, you should never attempt to enter the bucket to operate the unit from the upper controls. Turn the vehicle off and walk around the vehicle one more time. Make notes in your auction day catalog provided by JJ Kane. Now that you've identified the equipment you need to buy, be sure to run a Carfax or an auto check on the VIN number of the vehicles. This way you can have as much information as possible about the history. Most all manufacturers post operator's manuals online for the owners of the equipment. Search for a copy of the operation manual. Within the manuals, you'll find specific guidelines for equipment inspections. Those guidelines are helpful in ensuring you look at everything the manufacturer deems important. If they suggest that you inspect a specific joint, fitting, control, and so on, then you should consider making that a part of your inspection before you bid on the item. The most important part of auction planning is to have a maximum bid price going in. That's the amount you're willing to pay at the end of the day. We want you to be happy with your purchase, so don't go over it. There'll be another auction next week.